You're watching On Demand. Please check the closing time before trying to vote or enter any competition or other interactivity in this programme, as it may not count and you may still be charged. Our contestants have their game faces on. Our machine is ready to go, so let's not waste any more time. This is Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Antonia, an account manager from London. I'm Richard, a project manager from Yorkshire. And I'm Linda, a retired carer from Ballymena. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or... If you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. One of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So do keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Everybody ready? Hands and your buzzers, comes your first question. What typically pink food stuff, often eaten at a fairground, is made... Linda. Candy floss. Is made by spinning liquid sugar onto a stick. It is candy floss, Linda, yes. Right. Would you like to play or pass the first counter? I'm going to pass to Richard. Richard, you can launch the machine today. Where should we try and get some money from? Can we go for... Drop zone four, please, Ben. Yeah, let's do it. Right then, Richard, let's see what we can do. That mystery counter on the bottom shelf looks very tasty. Settles nicely. Could be good for the mystery, actually, if we get something over the top shelf. Oh, no! Ooh. Not quite. Nice All pass right. from Linda. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Sadly, Richard, nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. According to a common phrase, a person who is in particularly good health is typically said to be as... Antonia. Fit as a fiddle. As fit as which stringed instrument? Yes, fiddle is absolutely right, Antonia. Now, you feeling ready to play or would you like to pass? I think I'll play. OK. Drop zone four, Let's please. Let's see if it's ready. Fire it up, please. Big, bouncy drop. Is that going to be flat? One Richard puts in. Ding! Can you oh, believe yeah. it? Your oh. first one is riding. You might get a little squeeze on the ones on the right by the edge. Oh, they've gone anyway. Well done, Antonia. It'd be great if this pays out as a rider. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Oh! <laughs> They're so close. <laughs> Pinned in. So nothing from that drop. Here's your next question. Born in 2018. Who is the third child of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge? Antonia. Um, Prince Louis. It is Prince Louis, yes. Right, are you going to play? Yes, and drop straight in four. Seems like the right choice, yeah. doesn't it? Fire up four, please. <laughs> Settled quickly, rush down. That silver one, that's what we need. Go on now, go on now, go on now. Oh, oh Antonia. Oh, gosh. It's been swallowed <laughs> into a gap at the back. They're but... sort of on the verge, those two look like they're on the slide now. Are they wriggling off or are they staying where they are? No, I think they're staying put. <laughs> oh, Antonia, that's so frustrating. So, mm. you're down to your last counter. Here comes your next question. In 1963, surgeon James Hardy pioneered the transplantation of which breathing organ of the human body? Linda. Lungs. Yes, lungs is absolutely right. Right, Linda, you ready to play now? Yes, I think I'll have drop zone four, please. Fire up four for Linda, please. Drops quickly, settles nicely. Is this the one that breaks the seal? Oh, my days. Oh. Would you have a look at that? <laughs> they look pretty steady, don't they, Linda? So not even you've managed to disrupt Drop Zone 4. In next a way. time. Yeah, it certainly feels like there's a lot coming to somebody. Here's your next question. In September 2021, Justin Trudeau was re-elected as Prime Minister of which, Linda? Canada. 
Which country? It is Canada, Linda. Yes, you got there quickest. You gonna play? Yes, please. Drop, Drop zone four. four, please. Fire it up. Let's get it in. Get those counters moving. Okay, it's down. Let's see, is the top shelf gonna go? It's not gonna ride, is it? Oh, it's flat. That could be a really lovely position there, Linda. Hope so. That disrupts that top shelf. There you go. Oh. And is the bottom one going to go? Oh, there you oh, go. Wow. And that was worth waiting for. Linda, nine counters for you across the tipping point. A lot of hard work from all three of you went into that. <laughs> Sorry, got guys. 450 pounds. <laughs> Let's take it, put it into your bank. You also got your hands on the mystery prize, which is nestled in the wind zone. You've won a bottomless brunch for two people, courtesy of bruncher.com. Lovely. It sounds fabulous. Thank you very much. Still got much. one counter left to play as well. Here's your next question. Which period of time that occurs just after sunset and before sunrise is also the title of a supernatural film franchise starring Robert Pattinson? Antonia. Twilight. It is Twilight, yes. Now Thanks. you've got one counter left. Do you want to play it? No, I'm going to pass to Linda. I'm sorry. Right <laughs> Thank then, <you>. Linda. <laughs> I feel like you've won enough money for now. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Linda, where should we put the counter? Could I have drop zone three, please? Let's change it up. Drop zone three for Linda. Rapid drop. Is the top shelf going to work for you, Linda? Not sure. Go on. Ooh. Yes, just. And what about the tipping point? One sneaks in for you. So you take another £50. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to round you up to £500. That's all three of your counters used now, Linda. So for the time being, you are out. So Thank it's just you. Antonio and Richard left in. This next question is for the two of you. In 2021, Australian tennis player Ashley Barty won the women's singles title at which London-based Grand Slam tournament? Richard. Wimbledon. Wimbledon's absolutely right. You're going to play, Richard? Yes, please, Ben. Where should I we go? will go for drop zone three, I think. All right, drop zone three it is. So just sneaking up behind the double. Might move something into drop zone four here. Oh, a little shuffle. And a little squeeze. But they're staying where they are. Oh, Richard, no joy there for you, I'm afraid. You're down to your last counter. Need to use it wisely. Here's your next question. The novel The Beast Within by Serena Valentino retells the story of which Disney fairy tale film? Richard. Beauty and the Beast. It is Beauty and the Beast, yes. Nicely done. Took a bit of a risk, I think, but paid off. You playing? Yes, please, Ben. I'll go for drop zone three again. Right, three up, please. Let's see this one. Here we go. They are very close to going, the ones that you'd left there previously. A little bit of lateral could send them down. Oh, no, Richard! Oh, that's so frustrating. Jam pack, but nothing's going to drop, I'm afraid. So that's your third counter used for the time being you are out. Antonia, it's just you. You don't need to buzz it. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put this last counter in the machine. Here we go. In British currency, how many two pence coins make up one pound? 50. It is 50, yes. Well done. I could almost see the brain <laughs> working then. Right, where are we going to go? Uh, drop zone three, please. Let's do three. Get it working. Richard's left it absolutely fit to bolt. Hard on the left. Ooh, I'm not sure. Not sure. You got a couple over the top. Is the tipping point going to go? It's not. Oh, Just keep oh an eye gosh. on that one wobbling underneath <laughs> the double. There you go. Oh. You're still in here, Antonio. Okay. And he managed to pick some off. Three counters dropped. So you open your account. Let's take £150 from the machine. Put it into your bank, and that means at the end of the round it is Linda who is leading with £500. Antonia has £150, which has got nothing in the bank just yet. So join us after the break to which today's three players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Antonia, Richard and Linda are battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Linda, you are leading after round one, so you get to choose. Would you like to play first? Or would you like to ask Richard or Antonia to play? Drop zone three is looking quite good. I'll go first. OK, let's do it. 45 seconds for you, Linda. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, OK? OK. 45 seconds for Linda, please. Your time starts now. Which season of the year comes immediately after spring? Summer. Correct. In February 2022, Glasgow couple Roisin and Joe joined the cast of which Channel 4 TV review show? Pass. Gogglebox. K filling stations, what type of fuel is dispensed from pumps that have black nozzles and are labelled with B7 in a square? Diesel. Correct. The thick, cultured dairy product known as skier originates from which Nordic country? Sweden. Iceland. Colour blindness mainly affects which sensory organs of the human body? Eyes. Correct. In 2000, Leanne Ryan had a UK number one single with the song Can't Fight the What? Pass. Moonlight. In 1871, Otto von Bismarck became the first Chancellor of which newly unified European Empire? Germany. Correct. Well done, Linda. Just got your Germany answer in in time. So you've got four correct answers in there, four counts to put into the machine, four chances to try and get some more money and extend your lead. Where are we going to go? Can I have drop zone three, please? Of course you can. Fire up three, please. Down that left. It feels like there's a lot of business to be done with drop zone three, doesn't it? And that, that's how it starts. Yeah, and a nice broad shove. It's always nice. And you're oh on your way. Goodness. Well done, Linda. <laughs> Six counts. Thank you. 300 pounds. Where would you like to play now? I'll stick with drop zone three. Drop zone three, please. Can we get it a bit further right? The top shelf looks good, doesn't it? Just about there would be nice. Behind the double, get that moving forward, maybe. Counter chops for you. There's a couple on the verge. A bit of a gap. Oh, there is a bit of a gap. You're right, Richard. Mm. And they're staying where they are for the time being. Two more to go in, Linda. Drop to one three again, please. Three again. Same spot would be nice, wouldn't it? Might find that silver one. Oh, hard on the left and top shelf's a bit quieter there. A bit of lateral could do it. Oh, filling the shell. Are you going to get the benefit? You've got one more to go in, Linda. Yeah, three again, please. Let's hit three. Tony's desperate for them to stay on, as is Richard, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> They're going to go this time. You can see it in my eyes. <laughs> oh, now we come. Good release, settled well. Now, is that the last gap, or can you get something out? Yes! Oh. That should do it, I think. And it does. Well done. Well done. Eight more for you there, Linda. Another £400. Very nicely done. 700 in total. Let's put that into your bank, and that's going to leave you £1,200. Right, Antonia, you are ahead of Richard, so it's your choice now. You can play next if you'd like to. Alternatively, you could ask Richard to play. No, I'll go. I'll go ahead. All right. 45 seconds, please, for Antonia. Time starts now. Viognier is a variety of which small fruit used to make wine? Uh, grapes. Correct. The song Easy Street features in which musical about an orphan girl? Um, Matilda. Annie. Oh. The seaside town of Cabot Cove is home to Jessica Fletcher in which US TV series? Pass. Murder, she wrote. The Harper Lee novel To Kill a Mockingbird is set in which US state? Pass. Alabama. At London Underground stations, a recorded announcement frequently tells passengers to mind the what? Gap. Correct. What name is given to the aquatic larval stage of amphibians such as frogs and toads? P uh, pass. Tadpoles. Which Oscar-winning actor plays the title role in the 2021 film The Tragedy of Macbeth? Oh. Denzel Washington. In 2011, Simon Beckerman founded which popular fashion resale app? ASOS. Oh, Antonia. Depop. Oh, Depop. You heard of Depop? Yes, I have. <laughs> Do you use Depop? So I have in okay. the past, yeah. Simon Beckerman's the man. He set it up. It, it's pressurising, though. <laughs> it is very pressurising, you're right. Two correct okay. answers in there. Two counters to try and get as much as possible from the machine. What's looking good there, Antonia? Drop zone three still has some overhanging, but then also drop zone two does look quite good. I think I'm still going to go with drop zone three. Let's stay with it. Fire up three, please. 
Bit of on the edges, isn't it? Of two and four. Just that gap on the top shelf. That's not bad for the top shelf, looking pretty primed. A couple there for you. And a little bit of lateral to take that stack on the right. And that's three across the tipping point. Well done. 150 pounds. That'll double your score. Let's put that into machine. One more to go in as well. What are you thinking with this last one? Drop zone two would be good if it fell to the right. I think I'm going to go drop zone two. Take a risk. Let's fire up drop zone two for the first time, please. Need it on the right, don't we? Just get in there. Oh, nearly. Bit of lateral. Could that mystery come mm. down? No. Oh, there's a couple through the middle. Again, you need it to squeeze over there. Yes, well done. <laughs> Five more for you, Antonio. It's worth going for drop zone two, including the one that jumped out of the machine. So another 250. Takes to 400 pounds in total. Let's put that into your bank. That's going to leave you. Right then, Richard, we come to you. 45 seconds for Richard, please. Your time starts now. In the UK, motorists are legally required to drive their cars on which side of the road? Left hand Correct. side. Correct. How many humps does a dromedary species of camel have? Two. One. The Irish fashion retailer, Pennies, is known by what name in the UK? Marks and Spencer's. Primark. Static, sliding, rolling and fluid are four types of which scientific force? Pass. Friction. In boxing, a cross and a hook are punches performed by extending which upper limbs of the body? Arms. Correct. The American author who wrote the 1937 novel, To Have and Have Not, is Ernest who? Hemingway. Correct. Dame Laura Davis is most associated with which sport? Uh, tennis. Golf. In 2021, which British pop star made her West End debut in the Supernatural Ghost Story? Pass. Didn't know that one. We had a little drop in the middle of there, so that can be distracting, Richard, so you can be forgiven for that. Lily Allen was who we were after. You got three correct answers in there. Three counters to try and catch Antonia. So what are you thinking? I'll go for drop zone one, I think. All right, let's do it. It's not being used. Fire up one. So 11 counters to catch Antonia. Rattles down. Might need a few just to shift things around. Not sure that's going to get anything over the top, is it? Maybe it will. Yes, it does. Oh, it's good. Doesn't look bad at the minute. Just shifting them into place on the bottom shelf. Okay, two more to go, Richard. Okay, drop zone one again. Let's please. hit one, please. Okay, a bit further over. That feels like it could get Push something. Back to yeah, that pair one. there. That is the tipping point ready this side. Still not sure. One sneaks in. Finally got something, Richard. Off the mark. 50 pounds. <laughs> Question is, can you get enough with this next drop? One more count to go in. I think I'm going to need a bit of luck on this one, Beth. Where are you going to go with it? Drop zone one again. Let's stay with it. Drop zone one, please. Mm, is that going to just slide into the gap? Hopefully that black counter can come down. A little bit of a nudge. Yes. And a really good squeeze here. Is the tipping point ready? Oh, it's not bad. Not quite sure it's enough. Richard, it's six more across the tipping point. It's a decent try. But sadly, it's not going to be enough. Another £300, 350 in total. Let's put that into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, it is Linda who is leading with £1,200. Antonia goes through with £550. Richard, you battled hard, but I'm afraid with £350, we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing, Richard. Thank you. And good luck. Cheers, Richard. Thank you. So it's Antonia and Linda who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, for your chance, win an amazing cash prize just like I have you. Elaine, she won big by entering a competition, and you could too. Oh, my. I can't believe that. I don't do many of the competitions on the telly because I thought I'd never win. It means such a lot. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. For £17,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIND to 6339, text cost £1.50, plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50, plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP235, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday.
Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Antonia and Linda. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. Linda's got a bit of a lead on you here, Antonia. She has, she I has know. played a canny game in that first she round, has. certainly. She's been very and the lucky. second. <laughs> well, and she's answered the questions and put them in the right place. <laughs> bit of work, but you can certainly do it. We've still got the two double counters in the machine and they could be absolutely crucial. So, Linda, you're from the Isle of Bute. Yes. In Scotland, but you're now in Northern Ireland. Yes, I now live in Ballymena. And you're big into your piping, aren't you? You're a big piper. Yes, I love the love playing the bagpipes. How long have you been doing that? Since I was 10, over 50 years. Goodness me. And you're still playing now? Yes. Is it a band? Is it a piping yes, band? Yes, I'm in Brushane Pipe Band. So, how many of you is there in the band, in the group? There's about 12 pipers. Six drummers. That's quite a noise, isn't it, Linda? When you're when you're really going at it full flow. It is when you're playing in a small hall. It's different when you're outside. Yeah. But if you're inside, yes, it can be quite noisy. It's quite an experience when you've got that many pipers. I absolutely love it. Uh, and you've certainly been playing the right tune with the machine up till now, Linda. Uh, if you carry on, you could well be playing for our jackpot. Uh, as I say, Antonio, you've got a bit of work to do here, but there's certainly plenty in there. You're half gone in, is that right? Yes, yeah, my mum's gone in. And is it right that somewhere in your family history, your ancestry, you're related to someone quite famous? <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I'm related to Henry Morgan, who was a pirate back in the day, but Captain Morgan's rum is named after Henry Morgan. Goodness me. Yeah, yeah. So your heritage is the rum that we all know and yeah, love so exactly, well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And you've got pirate ancestry. How brilliant is that? <laughs> Have you managed to trace whether there's any more? Or... No, I should do that, actually. You but should. no, I haven't. There haven't. could be some treasure somewhere, mm. Antonia. <laughs> it really could. There's some treasure in the machine which you desperately need to try and get your hands exactly. on. Exactly. To try and close that gap. But it's in the genes. Yeah, exactly. There's every reason to believe you could get there. Fingers Best crossed. Best of luck to both of you. <laughs> in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately, and your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you'll put the counter into the machine. Okay. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. Uh, Linda, you are leading at the moment, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question, or would you like Antonia to have it? I think I'll take the first question. Here we go, then, Linda. Here comes your first question. Which professional dancer from Strictly Come Dancing was a judge on the 2021 series of The Masked Dancer UK? You can pass this to Antonia if you're not sure. Did you watch The Masked Dancer? I didn't. No. That's not my type of programme at all. I think I'll pass. You're passing it over. Right, Antonia, did you watch The Masked Dancer? No. OK. <laughs> so we're looking for a professional dancer from Strictly who was one of the judges in the 2021 series. I do think I know this answer, though. OK, what are you thinking? I think it's O.T. Mabusi. You're going to go with O.T. Mabusi. Linda, O.T., would you have gone with O.T.? No, you wouldn't have I known. haven't a clue, Not never heard of her, <laughs> or him, or whoever it is. Let's see if you're right, Antonia. It's a great steal if you are. Is the answer O.T. Mabusi? Yes, <sighs> nicely done. She also now hosts a dating show, Romeo and Duet. Antonia, great steal. You get the counter. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two, please. Let's have drop zone two. Need to start closing this gap. This would be a nice way to do it. OK. Can we get that mystery to squeeze over the top shelf? Yes, we can. There's a little cluster of silver counters. Look like they might go. Oh, and they do in a couple more. Five across the tipping point, Antonia. It's a great steal, 250 pounds. Let's take it from the machine, put it into your bank. That puts you on £800. You keep control as well. Time for your first question. The christening of which British monarch took place at Buckingham Palace on the 29th of May, 1926? You can pass if you're not sure. I want to say Queen Elizabeth II. OK. No, I'm actually... Can I pass? You can pass. I'm going to actually... No, I'm not going to pass. OK, so what are you saying? What's your answer? Queen Elizabeth. Second. Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. OK. Just a little drop over there and drop zone four. Sadly, those counters will have to be avoided from the machine. So, Antonia, you said it, then you thought about passing, then you've changed your mind and you've given me the answer. Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. Linda, what would you have said? I would probably have said the same. You'd have probably gone with the same answer. Yeah. Right, let's see if you're right, Antonia. We're looking for the British monarch who was christened at Buckingham Palace the 29th of May, 1926. Was it Queen Elizabeth II? Yes! 
She's older course. than I thought she was, though, because I was trying to work out her age. Question yourself, but you were brave and went for it yeah. and got it right. <laughs> Where do you want to put the counter? Drop zone two again, please. We're staying with drop zone two. Feels like it's got to go left-hand side now, doesn't it? Yeah, it really needs Just to. Slowly chipping away at Linda's lead. Stop, oh. stop, stop. Oh, just rolled over to the right. Can we get the silver one down in three, maybe? It is flat. Anything going here? Maybe these two on the left with a bit of lateral movement. Oh, a couple go over. A squeeze here. And one sneaks in. A few just stay poised, teasingly on the tipping point. Fifty pounds, though. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank, Antonia. It's going to leave you on eight hundred and fifty pounds. All right, Linda, we come back to you. Time for your second question. The name of which gland in the human body is so called because its pyramid shape resembles thyme leaves? You can pass if you're not sure. I think I'll have to pass. OK, you ever heard of anything like this, Antonia? No. The name of which gland in the human body is so called because its pyramid shape resembles thyme leaves? The only gland I know is, like, is it pituitary gland or something? A pituitary gland? Do you want to go with pituitary gland? Yeah. OK, Lynn, did you know any other glands that it could be? No, so you wouldn't have known, so you've got to pass. No, I wouldn't have known. No. Antonia, you've got pituitary, sort of rings a bell, you're not sure? Let's see if you're right. Yeah. It's the answer, the pituitary gland. Yeah. It's not, it's called the thymus. Oh, okay, it produces yeah. immune cells. It's just beneath the breastbone, sort of level right. with your heart. Okay. The no. pituitary gland's in the brain. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but it's a gland. You definitely yeah, found yeah, a gland. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Mm. Uh, it's not the worst answer we've had. <laughs> uh, Linda, nice pass in the end, so you get to put the counter into the machine. Mm, no, two or three. Two. Job zone two, let's do it. Staying with the themes where Antonia's been pursuing the counters. Can you get some more? <laughs> Hard on the left there. That's the side that we've been trying. Oh, that works nicely as well. Is the tipping point ready? It's not, oh. but that one over a bit further right did drop. So we can give you £50 for that one. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, Linda. Put you on £1,250. Control comes to you, Antonia. Time for your second question. Located in the Caribbean, what is the smallest inhabited island in the world to be shared historically and administratively by two countries? You can pass if you're not sure. I'm going to pass. I have no idea. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the smallest inhabited island to be shared historically and administratively by two countries. Nevis. Just came from somewhere. Somewhere. That's sitting around in the back of your mind. Somewhere. Yeah. Do you want to go Nevis? Try that. OK. Linda's given us Nevis. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Nevis? It's St. Martin. St. Martin. All right. Governed administratively and historically by the Dutch and French governments. Right. Antonia, you got the counter because Linda was wrong. So where do you want to go? Drop zone two. There's a nice double in there. At the top, it's not tipping, so that yeah. could be it. It looks a bit sparse, doesn't it? Yeah. I think I'm going to go drop zone two again, take a risk. Taking a big risk. Light up. Drop zone two. No, it's not near the double, but if that black counter just has a little sneak on the silver ones into three, you need a really good squeeze to get it over the top shelf. Don't want it getting pinned. And that's what's happened. Mm, oh, Antonio. Antonio, we can't afford to miss them. A little drop over in four, but it's just riding, sadly, so nothing there. Right, Linda, back to you. Time for your third and final question. In the Jane Austen novel, Pride and Prejudice, which of the Bennett sisters is the eldest? You can play or pass this. I'm going to pass again, I'm afraid. Antonia, right. <laughs> Sorry. Do you know Pride and Prejudice? No, not really. But something is telling me. <laughs> Emma. You're going with that Emma? And yeah. You've got to give me something, so you're going to go yeah, with Emma? Yeah. OK, it. let's see if you're right, Antonia. It'd be nice if you are. Is it Emma? No, yeah. Emma is a novel That's by what Jane I Austen. Thought. Yeah, I know. Uh, Jane is the oldest uh, sister. Okay. Jane, Elizabeth, Mary, Catherine, who is Kitty, and Lydia are the Bennett sisters. Right, Linda, another count of you. Where should we go? Drop zone three, please. All right, little sneak on drop zone three, please. Is this the choice? Oh, 
that's the side, isn't it? There's a couple hanging over on the left. Please don't ride. <laughs> it's not riding. It's a bit of a gap from that black cow to the silver ones and won't take much. But is it going to swallow it? Yeah, that's all it got. There's a few on the edge. The mystery might get close. Oh, nicely done. Four across the tipping point. Well done. £200. Very timely, that, Linda. Let's take it from the machine, put it into your bank. It's going to put you £1,450. Antonio, we come to you. Time for your third and final question. Which country finished top of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics medal table? You can pass if you're not sure. I want to say the USA. OK. You could have passed it. <laughs> you decided to go for it. You yeah. got the USA. Uh, Lynn, did you have any ideas? What no, would you have said? Probably USA. Would, you might have gone America would be as up well. There, yes. Okay. But I'm so not sure. You're not sure. You could have passed this one, Antonia. Should you have passed it? We really need this counter, otherwise you're going home and Linda's going to be playing for our jackpot. We were looking for the country that finished top of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics medal table. Was it America? No, no way. Oh. America came fourth. Remember, it's the Winter Olympics rather than the uh, Summer Olympics fine. where the Americans usually uh. dominate. Antonio, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that means you are going to be going home because, Linda, yeah. you cannot be beaten. And yeah. you've got one more counter here to put into the machine. So where should we go? Try three. We're going to go for drop zone three, please. Right hand side. Yeah, the tipping point looks stronger than right now, doesn't it? Top shelf is a little bit sketchy all the way along. Dropped on the right and rolled all the way left. And then going here. Yes, just peels that black counter off the top shelf. One counter drop. Just keep an eye on the top shelf there, though, because it looks like there might be a few more that go. Will anything else fall? And that's two more into the wind zone. Well done, Linda. Three across the tipping points. It's another £150. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, and it's going to leave you on £1,600. One of them is a mystery prize as well. You've won yourself a digital espresso maker, courtesy of Lakeland. Lovely. What a Thank fabulous prize. And it just adds to the fact that you are today's winner because with £1,600, you are our champion. Well done to you, Linda. Congratulations. Antonio, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You've been wonderful, but I'm afraid with £850, you have found a tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. It's been great. It's been lovely to meet you. Linda, congratulations. As our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chat bottle counter into the machine. And this one is bigger and better than all the others, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Linda master the machine by finding a chat pot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now for your chance, win an amazing cash prize, just like our viewer Elaine. She won big by entering our competition, and you could too. Oh, my God. I can't believe that. I don't do many of the competitions on the telly because I thought I'd never win. It means such a lot. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. For £17,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge or post your name and phone number to TP235, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of today's tip point. Linda is our winner and has managed to get £1,600. Very nicely done. You played a great game, Linda, all the way through. How does it feel to be here? I'm even more nervous now than I was at the start. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a cracking job. You've seen off the other two. Now it's just you, the machine, and the chance potentially to go home with our jackpot. Have you thought about what you might like to do with money if we get the jackpot counter out? Well, I'm under orders from my grandson, Callum. Right. He wants a new game for his PlayStation and Very cool. football game. OK, nothing specific other than Callum's computer game. Callum's computer game, As long as you yes. get that sorted, you'll be absolutely fine. Yes. Well, look, whatever happens with that money, you can spend it on whatever you like. Fingers crossed we get you the jackpot counter. You can go and have a lot of fun spending those winnings. Good luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Linda's going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you'd like to go home with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. Fancy going home with £20,000, so you can get to drop with one of the doubles that's sitting in the machine. Here's how you'll do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Right, what we do need to do, though, is put the jackpot counter into the machine, Linda. So what are your thoughts? I think drop zone one. 
please. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one, please. Hammers down. Certainly likes to arrive in style. And a couple over the top. Going to move the double forward attack. Well, we can sit that and keep it ready to go at some point. Three counters drop in. Let's give you another £150. Up to £1,750. Jackpot counter nice and flat on the right-hand side of drop zone one. Right, should we have a look at your categories? Film, music, history, landmark, sport and human body. You can play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, where do you want to start and how many? I think I'll just go top to bottom. Sure. So we start with film for how many? Oh, the answer's up there. Try three. Let's do it. Film for three. As of April 2022, which of the following actors has not played the role of the supervillain Joker on screen? Jack Nicholson, Jim Carrey or Joaquin Phoenix? Do you know much? Do you watch your no, superhero superheroes? Superheroes is not... One of my... Do you know who would? Your grandson, Callum. Probably, <laughs> yes. He's probably shouting at the television right now. So one of those actors has not played Joker on screen. I'll go for... Is it you? Jo jo Joaquin Phoenix. That's the one. Joaquin Phoenix. That'll do me, yes. We're going to go with Joaquin, <laughs> please. Any reason why? No. Let's see if you're right, then. Is it Joaquin Phoenix? No, it was Jim Carrey. Ah. Joaquin Phoenix actually got an Oscar for playing his version of Joker ah, right. in a very different style of film. Yeah. Not to worry, let's go back to the categories. So we're heading down the list. Music. Hey, it could be bagpipes. Any it chance could be... of bagpipes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go three for music. Music for three, please. In 2022, which rapper became the first artist since 2014 to have solely written and produced a UK number one with his song Starlight? H, Dave or Stormzy? Do you recognise any of those rappers? As Stormzy, I've, I've heard Stormzy before. I'll go for Stormzy. Stormzy, because he's the one you know? Yeah. OK, we're going to line up Stormzy, please. So not H, not Dave. No lots of Daves, but not that one. <laughs> Let's see if Stormzy's the right answer. We're looking for the rapper who in 2022 became the first artist to solely write and produce a UK number one. Was it Stormzy? It was Dave. All right. One of your mates, Dave. That's what it was. Right. OK, back to the categories. Still got a long way to go. We need to get going, though. History. Yeah, history. we'll try history for yeah. three. More confident with history? Let's do it for three Slightly. counters. <laughs> The two main factions that fought one another in the Spanish Civil War of 1936 to 1939 were the Republicans and which other? The Nationalists, Unionists or Democrats? None of them jump out at me. 1936 to 1939. Republican and Nationalists, Republican and Unionists. Try Nationalists. Nationalists? Try that. We're going to line up Nationalists, please. You tried out a few of them. You've got Nationalists just feels right. Go is better with Republican and Nationalist, yeah. I think. OK, let's see if you're right. So the Spanish Civil War, was it fought between the Republicans and the Nationalists? Yes. Ah. Well done. Good. Nationalists were mainly military landowners and businessmen. All ah, right. Yeah. Three counters. That's get us going. Drop zone one? Drop zone one. Light it up. So, not at the jackpot, but can we get some of that action? Yes, we can. And a fair bit on the tipping point we can collect. £100 for those two. Takes up to 1850 in the machine. Two more to go in. Drop some one again. Yes, please. Fire it up. There, that's nice, ah. Linda. Stay right on it. And is the double going to get a little bit of action? It's going to get very <laughs> close. One more to go in as well. Drop on one again. Drop on one, please. Let's have one, please. That silver counter again. If that jackpot goes over, the double will go with a fair few. Same place would be good. Yeah, wouldn't it, just? Ooh, not quite. If we can be in the stash next to the jackpot down. Could still take a clump out of that tipping point. There we go. 
Is he gonna spread? Nice, oh, well wow. done. Seven more across tipping points. So 350 pounds goes in. But Linda, you got the double, so we can give you another 350 pounds. The money goes up very nicely. Takes us all the way up to 2,550 pounds. We've got that jackpot counter moving. Right, let's go back to the categories then, Linda. We're halfway. We've got landmarks next. Landmarks. I'll try two for landmarks. OK. Landmarks for two this time, please. In which US state is there a 65-foot model of the Eiffel Tower wearing a cowboy hat? <laughs> Texas, Hawaii or Massachusetts? <laughs> well, I guess a cowboy hat goes with Texas, so I'll go for Texas. OK, we're going to go with Texas, please. He's got, he's got a cowboy hat. You would a think 65 so. 65-foot model of the Eiffel Tower wearing a cowboy hat. Would you find it in Texas? Yes, you would. In the city of Paris, Texas. Ah, right. <laughs> Amazing. Right, drop zone one. Drop zone one, Let's please. Let's do it. Fire up one, please. Can we get the jackpot down? Can we get that mystery forward? OK. It's a nice spot. Ooh, just sitting calmly. One more again. Drop on one again, please. Hit one, please. There, nice. That's on the jackpot, isn't it? As long as it stays please on it, it doesn't sneak right. into that space. I think we'll be all right. I don't want the silver one to go too far left. It's got to stay right on the jackpot. Oh. Yeah, we squeeze into the gaps. OK, nudging it all a bit forward. That whole shelf feels like it might go at some point. Did get a bit of movement on the jackpot counter. Right, back to the categories. Two left, sport and human body. Try sport for three. Sport for three this time, please. Which Chelsea player missed a penalty in a shootout against Liverpool in the 2021-2022 League Cup final? Romelu Lukaku. Kepa Ariza Balaga or Antonio Rudiger. Do you like your football? I do like football. Right. Yes. Yes. Kepa, he's a goalkeeper, okay. I think. It's a toss up between the, the other two. So Lukaku or Rudiger? Go with Lukaku. Lukaku? Okay, we're gonna go Romelu Lukaku, please. So a Chelsea player that missed the penalty in the shootout. Do you think Kepa's the goalkeeper? I think so. so they've got all that way. So goalkeepers, Lukaku plays up front, Rudiger, one of the defenders. Is the answer Romelu Lukaku? It was Kepa. He was the 22nd player to take Good the penalty. Heavens. It was one of those epic... Hard luck, uh, Linda. Let's go back to the final category. We've got human body. Well, I've had one for a while, so let's try three. <laughs> <laughs> you should know it well, shouldn't I you? I should do. Human body for three. What is the medical term used to describe the condition commonly known as high blood pressure? Hypothermia, hypothyroidism, or hypertension? Hypertension. Hypertension? Hypertension. Are you confident? I think so. Should we light it up? Yeah. OK, we're going to go with hypertension, please. Hypothermia? I think that's low body... I think hypo is a low and a hyper is a high. So low body... Temperature, temperature, hypothermia, yeah. hypothyroidism, low thyroid Thyroids, action. Yeah. I like your style there. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer hypertension? Absolutely. <laughs> Nicely done. Right, three last counts to put into the machine to get as much money as we can. Maybe get the jack put down and close. Drop zone one. Let's please. have one. Settle. Get flat for us. There's a fair right. bit of money on the bottom shelf. Can we get that black counter down? Maybe that stack on the left over. Yeah, that one's down. Is it going to have an impact here? Yes, slide left a touch. Ooh, just a bit heavy. £50 drops in. Let's give you another £50 to take you to £2,600. Two more to go in. Drops on one again. One again, please. please. Ooh, now, could that get a little bit of action on the jackpot counter? I think it might. Ah, oh. Oh. Little nibble, a little nudge. 
And that mm. fell too deep. That's annoying. One more to go in then, Linda. Drop zone one. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> now, surely those counters. Go on. Oh! <laughs> Just not quite on the right track. So they all go into the gaps. Mm. So nothing else drops, I'm afraid. So look, we're out of questions and categories. Linda, usually at this stage, I would offer you a trade. Three final counters, what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. Given where it is, it's still on the top shelf. Particularly tricky between one or two. I think I know what you're going to say. I need to ask you nonetheless. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Fantastic stuff. You're leaving with £2,600. You've won your bottomless brunch and an espresso machine as well. Lovely. Have you enjoyed yourself, Linda? Oh, it's been fantastic. It's been so lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming in and taking part. And the good news is Callum's going to get his new computer game. He is. Whatever happens, and yes. you can enjoy spending the rest of that as well. Thank you so much. Well done, Linda. Thank you.